Hello, this is RVR Productions, and I'm going to teach you how to make a team door. So whatever team you are on, only this, like say you're on the red team, you can only go through this door. But say there was another team, like a blue team, and they had their own door, the red team could not go into that door. So you could do a few things with that. Like make the, maybe make a weapons room and make that team, or other things like that. So, I already have one finished right here, which is the red team, so we're going to do a blue team, and I'll show you how to write the script and whatnot, and this tutorial is from, also from the book, uh, Roblox Programming Intermediate by Brandon, Brandon LaRoche. So, let's get started. So, first of all, uh, we need another spawn location, so I'm just going to duplicate this. Now, then we have to go to the properties of it. Let's just change it to a bright blue, go down here, bright blue, right? And right here, I already checked this for the other team, so we can change the teams that I can show you which, how you cannot go through the other door and whatnot. So, I'm just going to say, so if they touch the block or whatever, uh, you can change the team. So, that's good, we have our spawn location. Now we need to add a part. Uh, let's make this a little bigger so it's more like a door. Cool. Uh, the door is bigger. Okay, anyways, uh, let's rename this. Let's just call it door, because it's the door, you know. And we're going to add a script. Add script. Cool. So let's get started. And as always, you need to start with some locals. So what you're talking about, we're talking about the door part. So let's say equal the script dot parent. And that, de that declares the local for the door. Now we want to say if uh, the function function on touch, so when you touch this part, which is the door, um, we want to have it uh, say, okay, next we're going to add another vocal for the player itself, so it says what is touching this, what can actually go through this, and we only want players to go through these doors. So, game dot players get player from character of the right there. School. And what we're gonna put in the parentheses is part dot parents. Cool. So that's done right there. And just in case we need to put this, so so if player basically the squiggly line, I, I get caught. I don't know the exact name off the top of my head. So equals nil. Then basically what the nil means is it's checking if the player is a real player. And so let's just say that you have an NPC, uh, like maybe like a zombie or just a non non-username player that's just walking around, like a CPU. Uh, we don't want those kind of things to go through into our door. So we put this to check if they're a player or not. So, now we're gonna do if player dot team color brick color dot new and what the color we're using is bright blue so that's the color I chose for the spawn point so then if that happens they this all check all of the checks have been done now so we can be sure that the player that is trying to use the blocks to the correct team. 
That being said, we can now open the door and then wait to once it again to close it. We will be opening the door by making it non-collidable and slightly transparent. So we're going to add the following lines. So door dot can collide uh, equals false. Okay. And so when the like the team player for the specific door if it is touched by a, a team, it'll become transparent. So like you're opening a door, so it's not just you just go right through it, you know. Now a little cooler effect to it. So we're gonna make it half transparent. 0.5. So then we're gonna wait wait two seconds so we have time to go into the door. Then we're gonna say door can can collide equals true. So now we can actually go through the door. And then we have three ends, correct? So one, right? Two, three. And the last piece of code we need to put down is just to connect the touch and stuff or whatever. So touched or touched connect on touch. And that should be good. Bright blue. We have a door. And do I have my, uh, oh, there it is. Cool. We have our team, so, yeah. So I'm just going to check over this one more time to see if I've got everything. Bright blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that should be good. So let's start this. I'll show you that I'm on the red team. I can go through this, see? Cool. But I can't go through the blue. As you can see, it doesn't go transparent because I'm on the red team. But if I were to go on the blue team, I can go through it. See? And vice versa. So I hope you appreciated this tutorial. I'll be doing more of these and comment if you have any questions about this tutorial and maybe if I can do better or whatnot. And like, subscribe, and comment, and yeah, peace, RBR Productions.